What is going on everybody and welcome on into the Stock Trends channel. So today we are talking about Alibaba, ticker symbol B-A-B-A, -A, gapping up here at least when we're filming over 5% this morning. Closed very strong yesterday. We're going to talk about the potential for a rebound trade here with Alibaba. So for those who are not familiar, the past couple of months, we have just seen Alibaba selling off, selling off. Lower highs after lower highs after lower highs. Now, in the past couple of days, in the past like, couple of weeks, we've seen an acceleration of this move to the downside. Take a look at the past three-month chart, right? We're seeing an acceleration of this move to the downside, right? Falling off in just a couple of days from up towards 200 down under or down towards that 150, right? Under 160, down towards that 150 area. And it's kind of happening really fast. Look at the volume that we've been seeing ever since like August 10th. We're seeing the volume accelerating and we're seeing Alibaba accelerating its move to the downside. In this video, we want to talk about the change in sentiment and we also want to talk about the potential for the upside and what are areas to watch in terms of price targets based on the chart, based on some of our own technical analysis here. So make sure you guys are staying tuned. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you want more videos just like this. We'll leave any links and resources such as this platform tip ranks and we'll leave links to our broker platform Webull, which you can get two free stocks when you sign up and deposit five dollars with the platform as well as we'll leave links to our other two channels all that in the description box down below okay let's dive right in so we talked about in the past video analyst price targets we know analyst price targets in the past couple of months yeah they're way higher right they're up in the 200s we even have some 300s and of course the stock now is sitting down towards that 150 160 level so you're starting to think okay well these price targets kind of make no sense we're looking at a large cap stock we're not talking about a penny stock here but these kind of upside price targets indicate the types of moves that you would see in type, you know penny stocks. And Alibaba is definitely not a penny stock, right? It's a large cap stock, large market cap stock. We're looking at, you know, a stock that's trading, you know, up in the hundreds. We're not talking about a stock that's trading in the pennies or the cents or the dollars, right? We're talking hundreds of dollars here. So the change in sentiment that I do want to mention is now we're starting to see these articles come out on different platforms. For example, right here, investing.com, Chinese stocks bounce after JD.com results show value in the beaten down tech sector. And you're seeing ARK Invest starting to get interested in a lot of these beaten down stocks. Kathy Wood, and everyone loves a good Kathy Wood play, right? So this is where you're starting to see that institutions, you're starting to see the big money starting to pick up shares. And if you even look at this right here, this article right here, how an institution is preparing for the big Alibaba rebound play, right? You're starting to see these articles coming out in the past couple of days, and the sentiment is making a move, right? We're seeing a sentiment shift rather than the fear, fear, fear. We're starting to see the sentiment shift towards bullish, bullish, bullish. And this is a potential example of, you know, a lot of the big money being able to load up at low prices, right? For these, for the stock, right? For Alibaba is specifically, but a lot of Chinese stocks across the board, right? Follow following suit, right? They're in the same exact situation that Alibaba is. They're all pulling back as well. And they're setting themselves up for a pretty big rebound play. So in terms of that big rebound, let's talk about it. Let's do our own technical analysis and look for areas to watch as areas of resistance or potential take profit zones if you are playing Alibaba. So here's our chart right here. We have a zone that we just barely touched into under that 160 level on Alibaba. If you go back to 2019, that was the area that we dipped down to, down even towards that 125 actually on Alibaba. But if we look at what's happening now, right, we see lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, pretty significant downtrend the past, you know, couple of months. And if we take a look here and we try to draw a little bit of a trend channel in the past couple of months, yeah, you're kind of in this rough channel to the downside, right? And now we, we dip down below, we hit into this zone right here. And then look what happened yesterday pretty significant buying volume. We dipped down, hit lows of 152.80 and then closed up over 160. So a really strong rebound, closing up nearly 2% up on the day and really showing that strong momentum. Look at the volume, the volume bars, 88 million, which was the most volume we've seen in months on Alibaba. Now we have two of these zones right here. We want to talk about these zones. 
What are these zones? These are our gap zones. So on the way down overnight, right in the after hours, right in the pre-market hours, Alibaba gapped down a couple of times. So it didn't just make these moves during the day, it gapped down overnight. And if you don't have a broker that allows you to trade during the pre-market and after hours, we highly would recommend you at least get access to one and we have a link down below to Weeble. Again, those two free stocks when you sign up with the platform will be linked down below in the pinned comment and description box. So Alibaba right here over this 167, has a gap to fill up towards that 171, 172 area. And then over this 178 has a gap to fill up to about 181 or so. So those are really good areas to look for in terms of targets on these gap fills. So target number one would be up here towards like 172. And then target number two will be up towards 181 or so. Those are areas we're watching in Alibaba now. We are already in one of the gaps. If you take a look at what's happening overnight, Alibaba has gapped up and we're in the gap. So the first target to watch here is going to be up towards that 172. Then if it gets over that level, we want to see Alibaba hold the bottom of this gap, this 167.50 or so, and then start to make that next push up. And then the next target would be the next gap fill up towards that 181. And then you want to see you continue to put in higher lows, establish prior areas of resistance to become new support. So establishing, right, this top of the gap, right, this gap, let's make that gap become support. And for right now, we're holding up in the gap. Next move up, let's see if we hold that gap as support. And that's how you can kind of stair step your way back on up to the upside. This is certainly going to be an interesting stock to watch here the next couple of days. The volume is very, very telling. Make sure the volume continues to be strong before you are making any trades if it is something you are interested in trading. Now, because that volume is going to be very strong, you have to also account for the volatility here. You're going to be seeing more volatility in Alibaba that you usually don't see. If you're someone who's been trading this stock in past months, you haven't seen the type of volume and volatility that we're probably going to be seeing even the next couple of days and that we've seen the past couple of days. So make sure you're taking that into account. Let us know in the comment section down below your thoughts on Alibaba, what your price targets are, if you're buying for the long term or if you're staying far away. Love to hear you guys in the comment section down below. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this, keeping it short, simple to the point. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and check out our other channels linked down below as well as those resources. Thanks so much and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.